Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thanks so much for joining me for this video today. I have a peekaboo slider card for you. It looks super complicated, but believe me, it's not. Check this out. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I wanted to introduce you to the Coffee Cafe Bundle um, Designer Series Paper. It comes with ribbon, it comes with the stamp set, and thinlets. I have created an online class using this bundle, and I'm super excited to be bringing that to you also today. So make sure you hop on over to my blog, www.estampabove.com, so you can check out the details of that. I have created, this is actually my ninth card created with this bundle. So you get eight cards, all the instructions, and a video on how to make each one of them with the online class. And there's several different options. You can purchase the online class by itself. You can purchase it with a complete card kit that has all of the cardstock, ribbons, and even foam adhesive strips for a cute shaker card. I've got a couple of fun folds in there, a gift card holder. There's some really, really cute ideas. So I'm excited to be bringing that to you. Make sure you check it out. All right, let's get started. And I will show you how to make this peekaboo slider card. I've got my cardstock layers here. And this only takes four layers of cardstock and then all the little pieces to make your card. So I'm just going to show you the basic layout of this particular moving card. This is your inside layer and this is four and a quarter by eight and a half. We're going to score that at four and a quarter in just a second. And I'm using soft sky cardstock. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we've got a white piece this is actually the inside of our card. This is four and a quarter by five and three quarters. That's a real different dimension than we're used to. We're gonna score this at five and a half on one end and we'll do that in a second. And then we've got another piece of Whisper White here that is three by four and a quarter. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer to do my scoring. The smaller white piece is gonna get scored, like I said, at two and three quarters right here. Did I say on this side before? I don't remember, but it's actually across the long side. So we're gonna move this up to two and three quarters and we're gonna score right there. So we've got a score line running down the side here. The white piece gets scored at five and a half. So I'm putting that over here at five and a half and we're gonna score that on the short side. So we've got a score line on the long side, a score line on the short side. And then this larger piece of soft sky is going to get scored at four and a quarter. Believe it or not, we're ready to assemble this card. I'm gonna use, whoops, I'm gonna use my bone folder to burnish the edges here on all of my score lines. I want to be kind of gentle with these smaller ones. And then I'm using tear tape today and we're going to put tear tape on the two white layers on those little tabs that we scored. Tear tape is really strong and it works good on this little area. Looks like it's going to be too wide, but it really does fit. I questioned it at first. I'm like, oh, is this going to be too wide? But it's going to fit fine. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside for now. We're going to open up the eight and a half by four and a quarter layer that we scored in the middle. And we're going to take the back of our card, which is the larger piece, and we're going to pull off the backing for that tear tape. And we're going to add that right to our end. Oops. Just like that. We're going to fold this up in a Z pattern, just like this. So our white is laying down here, our tab is right here, and our 
soft sky piece folds this way. And we're gonna set that aside for right now. The next piece, we're going to take the tear tape backing off. And I've got mine hanging over here just a little bit, so I'm just gonna fold it over so it doesn't cause any problems for me. And I'm going to put that on the end of the smaller piece of soft sky, just like that. And you wanna make sure you're folding your seams to the inside. So this is what we have. We have this and we have this, just like that. Okay, the card goes together like this. This piece tucks right in there. Do you see what I just did? This is our card front. That piece folds in there. This is our inside. And this back piece is right here. So once you get that far, you can kind of see how this whole thing works. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this piece and punch it with a two inch circle punch. And I'm just gonna push this all the way in and center it. Now you don't wanna get your flap in here, so be mindful of that. So we've punched that, and now I'm gonna put this all back together. So we've got our Z fold like this. This can just go right there for now, and we're gonna put this all back together and stack it up. And now we're gonna take a pencil, and we're gonna draw a pencil mark there. And now we're going to punch this one. And it doesn't matter which way you put your punch in because we've got our pencil lines there to show us where that circle needs to be. And now you're gonna fold that and you're gonna draw another circle here and we're gonna punch out this layer. So once you get the folds down, this is pretty darn simple. There we go. Everything looks great here. This is how our card goes together. We've got our circles there. And now we're gonna start stamping. I used the Coffee Cafe stamp set, which is just stinking adorable. It has matching coffee cups framelits to go with it. And there's just a whole bunch of great little elements. In my online class, I used every single one of these. So you get a really good variety of cards. I'm using the um, happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. And if we look back at the card, I only use happiness as a cup of coffee and then shared with a friend is on the inside. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. I took the stamp and if you want to, you could use your scissors and cut the rubber apart. I didn't think I needed to because it's pretty good here where you can kind of stamp it into the ink without getting a bunch of ink on the rest of the words. But if you're worried about that, and I can see that I did get some ink on the rest of the words here, I am just going to take my fingertip in a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe off any ink that I may have gotten someplace I don't want it. You want to make sure your car or your stamp is good and clean too. So the first place that I am going to put this is right inside our piece here. Whoops, I forgot one step. Okay, put this back down. We need a pencil mark here so we know where that goes. Okay, so we need to make our pencil marks for this. I've already made a pencil mark in here with this all stacked the way it goes. You see how this smaller layer goes in between the back layer and the layer in front of it? Now you're gonna hold on to this and you're gonna open this card all the way and you're going to draw a pencil mark on that smaller piece that slides over in there. So I've got a pencil mark here and a pencil mark here. Happiness is a cup of coffee goes on your bigger piece. Just like that. And then we're gonna clean this stamp off really good because we don't want any of that top, the top words on it to come out on our card. And I'm also gonna just stamp it off here to get any residue off of my stamp. Now I'm gonna come into this smaller piece 
and I'm going to ink up the bottom part of this stamp. And if you need to, you can bring it over here on that D at the end of shared. It's kind of taller than the rest. And then also on your H in there, you might want to just tap the very corner of your ink pad. And again, I'm just going to take my baby wipe and wipe just in case I got any residual ink on the other letters. We're going to stamp that right here. Right side up. <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy. Okay. Now that we have this done, we can do the rest of the stamping. I just did a little bit of stamping on my card. And I used a tiny little heart out of the Coffee Cafe stamp set with Pool Party ink. And I'm just going to go around and stamp some random hearts on this background because I thought it would be really cute. Maybe one more right there. The other thing I put a little heart on is my white piece here. And I just thought that was super cute to put one right under there. I'm going to use my pencil eraser to erase this. So you want to make sure that you're doing light lines. Make sure your ink is dry before you do this too so you don't happen to smear it. Those lines come right off of there and you don't even see them anymore. Hope everybody's having a good Friday today, or I wish you a good Friday. Yesterday, I took my husband in, and he had surgery on his knee. I know, if you've been following me, you know he's just kind of a, a mess. Okay, there we go. We're ready with that. Okay, now I'm going to bring in and show you the scraps that you need. I used the Coffee Break Designer Series paper, and I have to just show you how absolutely adorable this is. This is just a really cute set of designer series paper with a coffee theme. This is shown on page 188 in the big catalog and in my online class that I talked about I use every single one of these papers so there's a great variety in here. So I've got a one inch by five and a half inch piece of the polka dotted paper. I've got a five and a half inch scrap of early espresso, a scrap of soft suede, crumb cake, and pear pizzazz. And I'm gonna show you this first. This is our decorative ribbon border punch. I don't know if you can see this very good, but there's little lines in here. And what you do is you take your cardstock and you push it up to that line, and that's where the punching starts. So you're pushing it against this backboard, pushing it all the way up against the backboard and this line and you start punching. There we go. And now you're going to slide it over and you're going to perfectly match it up with the design that's on the punch itself. And that's going to make your punch punch right in a row without any sign that it isn't continuous. And we're just going to punch that all the way across that edge there, making sure to line it up nicely. And you're going to get this pretty little decorative ribbon. And let me clean off this little mess. Okay, we've got our decorative ribbon. This piece we're just going to glue on the front of our card. And then we've got all these little scraps. I am going to start die cutting. And I'm going to use the large cup from these framelits on this piece to cut out a coffee cup. I am going to use this piece that has the wood grain on it to cut out the lid to my coffee cup. I've got a crumb cake piece to cut out this little holder that goes around it. This tiny little one is like a little stopper in the lid and I'm going to use pear pizzazz for that one. I have an extra piece here I don't need. Huh, go figure. And then I wanted to show you this cute little piece. The designer series paper has these little cups on it. There's white cups and then there's tan cups. This die, 
cuts them out perfectly. So I'm gonna cut out one of those too. I'm gonna go to my Big Shot, cut all these out, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready for assembly. This is so simple, this card is just fun. Once you get this down, you're gonna have a blast with it. We are now going to, we're gonna glue our card together right now. And how we do that is we're gonna put adhesive, and you can use a tape runner or as I prefer to use my liquid glue right here. Oops, I got kind of a lot of glue there. I'm just gonna wipe some of that off because otherwise it's gonna make a mess. And now I'm just going to take my card and I'm going to stack it and make sure that my edges come together nicely just like that. Pretty easy so far, right? Now I see that my cutting is off just a tiny bit here. I can see white sticking out. You can trim that with your scissors or if you'd like, you can put it in your paper cutter and trim it that way. And I think I'm going to just trim it with my scissors in just a little bit. This piece goes on the inside here. And so to make this card stay together so there's no confusion about how to open it, I'm gonna add just a little bit of tear tape right here to hold that in place. You can put that right on the side with the seam on it where we put it together. Or on this piece here, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be by the fold. And now I'm just going to fold this together so that'll stay in place. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Our mechanism works perfectly. Yay, I love this. Let's put the rest of this together. Got my polka dot layer. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue under that on this one edge so I can glue it to my decorative border. Now, if you want to, you can use your decorative border like this. But what I did is I used the opposite end and just got some really tiny little scallops on there. And that's just kind of a unique way to use this punch. So you can have, it's basically two punches in one. You could use that one or this edge. And I just thought that was really cool. I've got a little bit hanging over the edge here. I'm just gonna trim that off. And we're gonna put that right on the bottom of our card. Okay. And then here comes our cup assembly. I had so much fun making all these cards. This is my ninth card with this bundle and I have to tell you, it's super easy to create with it. My online class has all the dimensions and if you order the bundle, you get a card kit for free. You can order the online class with the card kit or without it. You can cut your own card stock. This is like the easiest way to do it. Just order the card kit and everything's cut for you. That's super fun. All right, I've got white baker's twine here and I'm just gonna pull about this much out the end and wrap this around here. four or five times. I love Baker's Twine. It's inexpensive. You get a ton of it. So you can do these really fun things and not have to feel guilty about using up a lot, right? That's the way I kind of think about it. Okay, I've tied this in a knot and now I'm going to turn it into a bow. Super cute. You guys know I like to curl the ends of my ribbon so I don't have any of those little kinks in there and it looks adorable. There we go. We're gonna add some dimensions to the back of this. My little trick of sticking your fingernail in the middle to get those edges to lift up is almost like magic. There we go. Oh, I forgot one little thing. Oh, where did my, oh, here's my tiny little stopper. Isn't that adorable? I love this thing. I am going to just put a tiny dab 
some glue on there before I dimensional this down. Is that a, is that, can I say that? I think I can. I'm gonna tuck that little tab right in behind there because I just think it's adorable. All right, and then what are we gonna do with this cup? Well, I wanted to do just a tiny bit more stamping on the inside of my card. So I chose to use the Early Espresso ink and put a few coffee beans in here. And then I'm gonna glue this cute little cup right in here. So you have room to write. Isn't that precious? Love it, love it, love it. I completely forgot to show you guys this in my video, but use the layering circles to cut out a scallop circle and put it on each one of these little openings. It's absolutely adorable and adds so much to your card. Sorry I forgot! All right, if you would like to get eight more ideas and a card kit and a coffee cafe bundle, please head on over to my blog, www.estampabove.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, right under the video is kind of a little description of the video. It says, see more on there. If you click on that, see more, I'll have a link directly to my blog where I'm gonna post the information about this card and the online class that I have. I hope you'll go take a look at it. There's three different options for you to get it, and I think you'll love it. Especially with fall coming, we're looking into hot, hot chocolate and coffee and tis the season, right? And again, you can find all this entire suite on page 188 in the big catalog with the designer series paper too. So head on over there. Thanks so much. I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Don't forget to click down here in the corner to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Head over to my blog where there's an online ordering button. If you need to order any supplies and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. I send out thank you cards for every order that I get and I really, really appreciate them. You guys have a great day. And again, thank you for all the thoughts. For my husband, he is doing super good after his knee surgery today. Um, this was just a minor knee surgery. He had a torn meniscus and he actually grilled me a steak on the grill tonight. So that's great. Have a good one. Bye-bye.